WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman. This is 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow is down 350 at uh, 38,498. That 38,500 is going to be really important <clears throat> on a closing basis. Trying to hold above it will be good. If it goes low, then that weekly chart starts to kick in and say, whoops, the uh, digestive phase is underway. <clears throat> Haven't yet got a sell signal in the day in the weekly chart, but we have a sell signal sell mode in the daily let's go to the s p sbx right now is trading uh, s p is trading down 26 at 52.79 not a big deal uh just sitting on the 14 period moving average uh, looking at the qqq uh same thing uh holding really well it's actually a green candle even though it's down dollar 68 at 458.03 this is fairly quite specific uh in terms of uh, the pullback the IWM, funnily enough, is actually holding fairly well. Not great, but it's holding fairly well. So in the meantime, back of the ranch is down, down 267 at 202.47. Uh, so it, it is struggling. It's making lower lows and high, lower highs. Gold, let's go real quickly to gold. Gold is down uh, 14. That nine period moving just flipped negative. We'll see by the end of the day it's pink because that could say gold goes down a little bit more. The dollar, I didn't even do that in my show just now, is doing very nicely today. It's green, making a W formation, pushing off the 200 period moving average. EUR, USD, that's the euro dollar currency pair, pulling back as you would expect. And the USD, the Japanese yen currency pair, is doing nicely. It is in leg D. Uh, moving quite nicely in uh, in the daily and weekly charts. Let's go to bonds. This is the issue. The bonds are down, whoa, over a point, a point in 330 seconds. That is a very strong pullback. I think that's going to impact the market. And at some point, I believe it actually will impact the SMHs, the semiconductors, but not yet. Look at the semiconductors uh, down uh, 3.60 at 246.24, holding pretty well. Um, Kind of holding hold there, but we're going to be watching it very closely. And crude oil did have a strength yesterday. Today it's giving back down 41 cents at 79.42. You want to see if you if you're looking bullishly at the, the crude oil, you want to see a trade at the 81.80 on the continuous contract to 82.20. That'll say, hey, I've made a nice cup formation right now. It's kind of struggling. It's not doing badly, but it's not doing great. So with that said, I'm going to hand you over. This is Steve Rose's recorded show from 9 o'clock this morning. Then, of course, great programming, continues all day. And uh, check out my daily newsletter. Thank you for being here. Have a great session. <laughs>